Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a cool evening. It's cold off here quite a bit. Um, but preparing for this super, super, super extreme heat weekend in our area, um, I have been a little worried about my chickens. Um, it's going to be upwards of 110 degrees. Um, I was already worried about them when it was in the 90s just because a couple of them are actually broody right now and I don't want them sitting and overheating in the coop all day long. So I came up with a few things um, to do to hopefully help them get through this uh, heat wave. So uh, first thing I did, um, I made a quick trip to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> you can get a lot of great stuff there. I actually, when, right before I got my chickens, I actually went and got a few of these dish pans and I cut out the fronts and it's what I use as a liner in each of the nesting boxes. So that's another easy idea. It's very easy to clean too. So Dollar Tree is very helpful for something. But I got a few of these and I also got some of these little baking pans, um, which you can use in the future for other things besides this. But for now, what I want to do is I just want to make ways to keep the ladies cool. So one of the ways to do that is to freeze um, veggies like this yummy lettuce we have, um, garlic, which is good for them anyway. Um, I have some kind of older peas, pea vines that I'm going to put in there and herbs. You can do fruits, other vegetables, pretty much anything that they'll eat already. But we're going to get them in these trays and we're going to fill them with water and freeze them. And so they'll just have blocks of nice, cool, refreshing things. So that way they're going to try to get all the good stuff out of the pans, but be drinking plenty of water at the same time. So let's get started. I am going to do a couple of these ones first, so they're pretty shallow. And then these ones, I'm going to do the herbs since they're not very deep. So I have some marjoram, which they would eat anyway, and I'm just going to add some of that in. And I also have some mint. So I think I'll do one tray with some of the herbs, and I also have some lemon balm. You can pretty much do it however you want. There's no rule for this. It's just stuff that you know that they're going to want to eat and peck at the ice. So that way they're going to get plenty of moisture and it'll also cool them down as they are eating it. And so you just put it, whatever you want in here, you're going to fill up this, fill this up with water. Get my hose here. And then you just want to freeze that overnight so it's solid. And then you can either pop it out of the tray or I'm just going to leave it in the tray um, so we don't get too much of a mess um, outside of it with the water everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to do another one. And this one I'm going to do with the pea vines and nasturtiums. We got some nasturtium leaves and some nasturtium flowers. So we'll do that. They're going to love these. They'll be excited to try to get this out of the ice, I'm sure. It's okay if some of it sticks out. That'll probably entice them more to want to get at it, I suppose. Pea vines. Set this one aside. Okay, and I got a few more of those trays, but I'm just going to fill them with more herbs. Um, and the deep ones, I'm going to do one with the lettuce. Actually, I'll probably do them both with lettuce because I got quite a bit of lettuce. So I'm just going to take, like, you can either break it apart. This one is a kind of a lettuce that kind of comes apart anyway. So I'm just going to break it apart. It has a few rose petals in it, but that's fine too because uh, they will eat all of that. But it's nice to use the lettuce in this one because it's a lot deeper. So I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to do this. I mean, you can also take an entire like iceberg lettuce or we have lettuce at the farm too. You can use that and just freeze the actual whole head of lettuce. And if you hang it from a string, they'll want to peck at it and it'll also cool them off at the same time too. So I'm going to do these ones whole just in here. I'm going to add some more herbs just because I have a lot. Maybe some nasturtium flowers. I love those too. Okay, so you just fill those up, and same thing. You can put the whole thing in there, or you can pop it out. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in, and that should keep them really cool. And I'm also gonna pop some garlic in each of these too, just the cloves, and I'll just squish them and break them into pieces. And one other thing, um, just because I do have some broody hens that'll probably try to sit in the coop no matter how hot it is, 
So I got some gigantic Ziploc bags, also at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> so hopefully they don't leak. But I'm just gonna fill these ones up. I'm not gonna put anything else but water in these ones. I might double bag them just to make sure. And I'm gonna set one of these in each of the nesting boxes so that way if they happen to want to sit in there all day, I'm gonna try to watch them and pull them out whenever I can. But that way it'll cool them from underneath and hopefully that'll help too. Also gonna put a fan in there just to help circulate the air a little bit. Okay, so uh, get out, get some herbs and veggies, some trays, you may already have something you can use. Um, get them filled up and get them frozen probably tonight would be a great night to do that if you're gonna have extreme heat, which a lot of places are right now. Um, one more idea also that I have tried over the past couple weeks is if you have a sprinkler, you can set it up to where you don't want it to get inside the coop, but basically just leave it running while it's hot out and it'll kind of cool the air around the coop. If you get it in the coop, you don't really necessarily want to get the chickens actually wet. The mist is fine for a little while, um, but you don't want to be soaking wet all day, but it'll really, it really does cool the air around them. So uh, whether it's chickens, cats, dogs, cows, horses, whatever you have, make sure you have a plan in place to help them out to get through this heat. This might be the only the, only the beginning of it, so keep safe. Have a great evening.